Hello procrastinators and welcome to Nerdcube's 3 Free Game Fridays for some bizarre reason. I am joined by my ex-husband Tracy here today. Say hello Tracy. Hello Tracy! Oh, my dad does that joke as well. What is it? Is it like, that's like joke one, is it? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why she's here. She may not talk, that may be the only time you hear her, but just know Tracy is here doing her things. Uh, Yes, anyway, let's get going. This is the first game. It is Swift and Stitch. Swift and Stitch, not Swift and Stitch. Swift and Stitch. Uh, it is a game about uh, stuff. I'll show you. We'll play. It's free. The link in the description, as always. Uh, we will play normal and we will play level one because that is where we begin. Uh, okay, let's play. What? Okay, so you hold the mouse to move vertically, you release the mouse to move horizontally. Okay, so you literally just one button control. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, we go over there like that, and as soon as I click, we go down. So it's literally one button to control, uh, and as you can probably tell already, this starts getting really bitchy pretty quickly. But we've made the first level. Woo! 3D fireworks in a 2D game. Okay, next level. If you cross through these blue lines, you shift directions, so when you let go, you'll be traveling in the other direction. Uh, yeah, now you can start seeing that this game is gonna get even tricky. Fuck! I thought I didn't have to click. God damn it, because it's such a weird control system to just click once. Your mind does get quite easily confused, which is why I really quite like this. And so does Tracy, who I forgot was here. Woohoo! Alright, so, next level. Red, that just swaps your vertical direction. Uh, so as you can see, when this all starts getting all bit red and blue... Oh, no, that's how you do that. Then it gets tricky, but for now it's simple, because it's the early levels, and all early levels are simple. Crossing! You can click these star things. I was about to say, you got to click all of these, but I have successfully missed two of them there. Uh, that is a checkpoint. Okay, we're going in this direction. Whoop. Ah, see what I did there? Was I knackered that up royally, and then I let go of the mouse to cock that one up. Okay, on this one, uh, you get no extra abilities. You just have to think. If you hold down the right button, you can, uh, slow down time. So if you're on a, a difficult bit... Oh, balls. <laughs> you can sort it out. Shut up, yeah! <laughs> so yeah, um, or if you're like me on a simple bit, you can cock it up. Oh, okay, you can also zoom out, is what this level's teaching me, so you can play it as if it was some sort of demented Pac-Man. Or you can zoom super far in if you hate yourself. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, hate myself. Okay, so from this point on, we are on our own, apparently. I'm not, Tracy's here. Say hi, Tracy. Hi. Ah, you didn't say hi, Tracy. Oh. I thought I'd switch it up. Here we go, and... Yes! <laughs> Somewhere Link just awoke from a fever dream. I do- Ah! Oh! Oh, look at that, it had like a little spark effect. Oh yeah! Skimming! 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 Okay, blue. What? <laughs> okay, apparently this one- Oh, good grief. It's like a- It's like a snake thing. A cockroach. A cockroach. As I could barely hear Tracy say. <laughs> oh! Oh. Ah! I'm making it- I'm dodging that. Yes. Oh, why do I keep doing that? I don't know. My brain says, you have to do something here. <laughs> You're going to the exit, but you haven't put enough working. Oh! I'm missing a lot of these shines. I won't miss this one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> don't laugh at my failures. What That's should really I laugh at then? To do. <laughs> laugh at my sophisticated wit and jokes that are that are Dickensian in quality. Uh-huh, sure. Boop, boop. <laughs> ah! Fuck. Ah, I wasn't paying attention. Oh my fucking god. My brain doesn't wrap around its hit. Bounce. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. And up here, and then through this tiny gap. Oh! Totally forgot that's what those ones did. Okay, right. This bit's difficult. Ah! Oh! Ah! Fuck! My brain doesn't cope with the speed. Oh, it can slow down time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wish time was just slower in general. I'd like more time just to think and eat soup and stuff. Oh yeah, pretty much a straight line. And in, and then out. Is this what I was having to with? Oh, I balls it up. <laughs> I balls it up at the end. Slow motion! Ah, oh no, I've clicked, balls. Don't click to go down. Don't click to go down. Don't click to, fuck. <laughs> ah! How was that? Alright, I can do this. It's only been, what, 150 goes so far? Ah, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh fuck! fuck. <laughs> oh, we had a checkpoint! Woo! Skim! Woo! Skim! Okay, that skim didn't work. Oh, oh, and then I've got to go through this one that lets me do that. Fuck! I hate this. I hate everything about this. It's a really good puzzle game. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it! <laughs> so that's Swift Stitch! It's game one! Next game! <laughs> 
Okay, next up we have an incredibly sophisticated, uh, in-depth, very, very detailed game. Uh, I'm not gonna... Th I don't think I'll be able to show you a lot of this game, uh, because it is so in-depth and detailed. But I'll try and show you as best I can, as much of it as I possibly can. Anyway, um, Tracy's laughing for some weird reason. Don't understand what that is. But anyway, this game is called Hide the Fart. Uh, basically, you're a man at a bus stop and you have to fart at specific times when traffic goes past so people don't know you're farting. Like I said, detailed, very deep. Uh, space is fart and left is sort of, you can, it appears the guy has some form of release valve because he can sort of like stop farting. Uh, we, but you'll see. Okay, so uh, down here we have the farting power. If you hold down spacebar when a car is going past, you will be able to fart in peace. But it, it <laughs> it's just... It's just ridiculous the amount of wind this man produces. And if you're down left, you sort of have a release valve. There is that bomb bit there. You power up with long farts. So, like I said, the level of detail in this game is obscene. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh no, I got caught! He's looking at me! Oh, I love how sinister that final bit of music is. I cocked that up then. Uh, let's have another go. <laughs> oh, then you were just fartastic. Fartastic. <laughs> Get out. Your forehead. <laughs> we have a level of pun decency in this place. Yeah. And fartastic is below that level. Oh, look at these farting skills. He has some serious cleanse control. Look at him wiggle as well. I mean, if you ever see someone dancing like that, they're either in some sort of musical. They're about to either launch into song or about to fart ridiculously loudly. Uh, if you do leave the bar uh, to go up all the way to the top, uh, which is unfortunate, I just watched Tracy put a drink down because she knows what's coming, uh, then you, uh, <laughs> you get placed into a, some sort of low orbit, probably. You punch a hole in the ozone layer as well. So um, <laughs> you got to be careful. This is basically, this, this, just, this is just a game, uh, it was designed to be awareness of uh, Mexican food. That's what this game was designed to be. And I genuinely think... I mean, the first time I played this, I couldn't stop laughing because I have the sort of humour level of a two-year-old. But, um... <laughs> shut up, farts are funny. <laughs> Seriously, oh, it makes a squeaky noise. Oh, I accidentally hit it. All right, the bus I don't think ever turns up, but there are a fuck lot of Formula 1 cars going past. That's the thing. Maybe we're in Monaco. Because I can't... It's Korea, but maybe, maybe it's Monaco. Maybe Monaco, which, as everybody does know, is right next to Canada. Uh, which is in Europe. So, um, oh, oh, look at that! Two hundred eighty points for that fart, and full boom, three hundred points. Look at me! Oh, that was a that was a lucky fart there. I kind of twitched. I thought there would be something coming. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use a bit of my fart release valve, which for some reason I have. You could fill yourself with helium and just fly around the place. No, you'd have squeakier farts. Hydrogen, then you'd fly. Is hydrogen the one? Oh, hang on. Did we feel blimps with that? That was a bad idea, wasn't it? Okay, one final go in an attempt to save this man's life. If I mean, if you are filling up with farts this badly, please do check your... Well, everything. I th there's got to be something wrong with you if you are filling up with... I mean, look at the speed he's filling up with before he could detonate. Maybe NASA could use this guy. Whoops, a daisies. I may have farted slightly nicely. What is that other guy? Does that other guy never even heard of a fart? It's not embarrassing to fart. I said the word fart a lot. People are going to complain. I mean, I can say fuck as much as I want, but fart, that's going to push some place boundaries, I think. And finally today, we have Chaotic. This is uh, another kind of Super Hexagon clone. There's been a lot of these since Super Hexagon turned up. Um, and I'm okay with that, because I freaking love Super Hexagon. So this is a slightly different one. Uh, let's get started. The music's pretty similar. All you need to do is... Oh, I've died. Oh! <laughs> I'm so good at showing you games! All you need to do is move uh, this whatever around and every 10 seconds your whatever changes to fight other whatevers um, You'll see in a second. So this one is kind of spinning around slightly and those bits are firing out three Now it's got two that fire out three And then in 10 seconds it will change again six five four etc etc uh, The music as you can hear is pretty damn similar to the uh, super hexagon theme uh, See now I'm just firing out three from completely random places. Also more and more enemies appear. It gets faster and faster and he generally, oh, triangle there. He just generally gets a little bit harder. Now I'm firing out, just fuck all. Um, and it, the track, the plus ones, I was about to say the plus ones come for you, but it looks like they all come for you. Uh, okay, now I am just some sort of alien probe device. I got an award of square. Woo, I'm square. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, round. Uh, I don't think you die if like the edge bits get killed. I think you only die if the middle bit gets killed. Now I'm firing at three, and it's completely random every time you play, so sometimes you might last a long time, sometimes you might last a short time, as we will demonstrate slightly later with a game we've invented for this game. Yes, we've invented a game for a game. 
That's how awesome we are. Game over. Oh. Anyway, I got to it. Wave 8. Tracy, your go. Play. You're doing a pretty good job for someone who doesn't yet know the controls. There we go. Right. You got to level 2. Which it does kind of. That doesn't shine the best light on how hard level 1 is. Um, but yeah, so it's really weird to talk about a game that I'm not playing. Uh, this is weird. That's currently firing out something in some directions. It's like snow. It's firing out snow. That's a good way to say it. It is firing out snow. Because you don't know, Stop. John Snow. <laughs> You're making the squeaks. You have the makings of a brilliant YouTuber. Just squeak at things. That's that's my cunning tactic. Ah. Oh, the triangle. The triangles are coming at you now. Coming at you now. Okay, you've got as far as I got. Probably even slightly further. I think I only got to wave eight. Whatever the wave. Oh, this is wave eight. You got. I got this far. Uh, can she survive the next three, two, one? Of course she can. Of course she has to show me up on my own. Uh, God damn it! You're fired. You're fired from everything forever. I don't know what your job is now, but you're fired from it. <laughs> I will come back your boss and fire you. Oh my God! Oh, wave ten. Fine. Right. We are now going to play the game that we invented for this game, which is genuinely more fun than it deserves to be, which is see how long you survive without moving. My go. You basically space the start and then just see how long you can survive. My record was like something like wave six or something. Uh, but it's, it's just completely random with what spawns and what you get, so it's actually quite entertaining. It's if you if you like placing bets, and that's good. Oh, that was a hell of a bit of lag then. Uh, so yeah, so far I'm on wave two. Nothing really disturbed me, even though I'm not firing anything. Oh, straight in there. No defense whatsoever. Your go, Tracy. Woohoo! Woohoo, indeed. Right, you are firing out nothing. What an abysmal start for you. Oh, that square is got. Oh, that square is bouncing. That square looks like it's danger. Oh, and she took it out. And she's on to wave two. Oh, look at that one. Wave three. Oh, no defense uh. from that side. Tracy, cover your backside. <laughs> ah, and you're dead. Wave three, you got further than I did. My go. Best two out of three. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so, so far, um, yeah, doing okay, that's quite a good start, a lot of coverage, apart from where that plus symbol's coming from. Ah! Okay, no, I got it, I'm good. Uh, again, that's semi-okay coverage, not a lot of bullets, but well spread enough for them to, ooh, bloody hell, just make it, so I think I'm gonna get to wave three. I did, oh no! That is abysmal, how am I gonna, oh, wave three, your turn. Woohoo! Hit the fuck, yeah. Ah! Ah! This may be the end of Tracy's run. No. Oh, wave one. That's it. Tracy is dead. And that is three free game Friday with Tracy, who you will never ever see again because she lives a million miles away. Woo! Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poop. Enter the domain of the nerd cube. Videos dropping from above like bird poop.